Hey, what's going on guys? Prevised here. Thank you for watching. So, in the other tutorial, I made a character customization thing. I don't know the exact name, what to call it, but this is what I did. So, you know, we have a our character, and then we have like customized body parts. You know, we got a customized left arm, left leg. So, <clears throat> If you don't uh, know about that tutorial, well, if you, okay, here's the thing. If you're watching this tutorial and you want to learn how to have this, like, it's like a morph. This tutorial is going to be based on, like, making a morph out of this. So, like, if you step on a part, then you're going to get, like, these, like, the clothing and the parts and everything connected to your body. It's pretty much like a morph, a morph but what you need to know is that you need to know how like you need to have that other script uh, from the other tutorial so if you wanna get along with this tutorial you need to go uh, watch my other tutorial which I'm gonna leave a link in the description uh, so you can have the scripts and everything um, so you need that video pretty much but this is just gonna be like an add-on pretty much so this is very simple so as you can see whenever we join the game uh, what it does is it goes in replicated storage uh, what is, oh, I don't know what that is it goes in replicated storage it takes all these body parts and it clones uh, to inside of our character but that's what this player added and character added even uh, that's what it does like whenever the char character gets added then all this code inside runs but what if we want all this code inside to run whenever we step on a part so what we're gonna do we're gonna make a part and usually whenever they have like morphs like if you would search up a uh, morph I think, I think I spelled that right right not exactly sure morph you know how they have like uh, the thing where you step on yeah these little things whenever you step on it maybe gives you a jetpack or maybe you turn into something but this is kinda like what we're making but I'm just gonna make it a simple part like this I'm just gonna make it anchored now we're gonna insert a script inside of this part now we're gonna take print out hello world so we're gonna go on our script that we made in server script service which is from the other tutorial remember you need to go watch that other tutorial sorry if I'm stuttering or anything I'm like really tired and I just wanted to get this tutorial out there you know so how this code works is whenever the players added and then whenever the characters added then all this code runs so oh, no 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 what the freak sorry about that guys uh i don't know if you guys heard that skype call but anyways whenever the characters added all this stuff runs so what if we want to make it so whenever we step on the part so um i'm actually yeah make sure to click on this okay so we're gonna take this out and we're gonna add a script dot parents dot touched this touched is the event of a part function and hit okay so what we do is script which this is we're in the script dot parent which is the parent and then a part uh, parts and unions have an event of touched so this touched eve event or function is gonna fire all this whenever this event is called if that makes sense so like once you touch the part all this is gonna fire right here what I mean by fire is like gonna run you know the code's gonna run everything inside this function and then hit is a parameter hit is pretty much whatever touched it so like if your body part so if we did like print hit dot name it would print uh, it would print the name of whatever touched it so hit is whatever touched it and then we just get the property which is the name and then it would print whatever you know alright so I'm gonna select all this actually I'm gonna take that end out and then we're gonna select all of this and we're gonna do oh, no 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 we gotta make sure we select everything correctly copy all that and do shift tab which is gonna back backspace everything so as you can see we're getting unknown global char 
another Skype call. Alright, we're gonna press enter. We're gonna make a variable local char oops, spelled that wrong. Local char equals hit dot parent. So remember hit is whatever touched it. And then hit dot parent is uh the you know the model the model pretty much. Um because it gets like the parent of whatever touched it. But before we do this, we need to make an if statement. So uh before that uh local char, we're gonna check we need to check and see if whatever touched it has a humanoid. That's what we need to do. So we're gonna do if whoops no nope, if hit dot parent so what if whatever touched its parent uh find first child whoops find first child humanoid uh so this is just gonna check if there's a humanoid I know uh if you're saying uh I know it might not make sense if you're saying if hit dot parent find first child humanoid uh that might not make sense to some of you guys but it's just checking if uh, hit that parent has a humanoid and then it's gonna fire all this code so let me backspace this and then let's select everything in this inside this if statement indent that and make sure to add a end uh, but don't add the parentheses because it's not like a function like what we did here it's just the if if then statement okay so yeah, yeah very easy so my brother said you know, this stuff looks pretty easy. Yeah. All right. So local char equals hit that parent. Um. So this actually should work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and server script server. I'm just gonna disable this. All right. Hit play. All right. As you can see, your character is normal. Should have put that part closer. Ready? Alright, as you can see, every time we touch it, it adds, you know, another piece. You know, it just clones, pretty much. Yo, I just can't get over this Nike check is bees. That's what that's supposed to be if you don't know. If you didn't know, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So our Nike check is beast. Anyways, as you can see, it was cloning a bunch. So what we need to do is add a debounce. Ya nah, bruh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe we can hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna make a debounce. Uh, debounce is I have no idea how to explain what a debounce is, but maybe you guys can look it up. It's uh, debounce, but it's you know, it's I, how do I explain it? It's gonna like allow you to let me explain it once I have this. So a let's just name it local D because a debounce is dealing with like true and false like uh so hard to explain golly uh cool okay let's just say no, let's do local touch hopefully if i make this name better the name better you'll understand local touch so at the f at, at the very beginning of this code touch is going to equal to false because we never touched it at the beginning of the code so we're going to have this so once we touch it and if whatever touched it is a humanoid then Oh, we also want to check if whatever uh, touched it has a humanoid, and if touched uh, touched uh, is equal to. Remember, you can't if in an if statement you cannot have one equal sign because, as you can see, it will not work. You have to add double. So if touch is equal to false, then which of course this will run if whatever touched it. Uh, touched the parent has a humanoid and if touched is false which it is then it's gonna run so then we set touch to true because we we touched it you know we, we then touched it and then it's gonna run all this instantly and then all the way at the bottom we're gonna do touched equals false so uh, I don't really know how to explain it but yeah, guess what? It took me a while to understand debounce. Um but some of you guys may understand. But let me go into player and let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see it as a bunch. Alright, let's just see. 
Uh, let me just kind of read this over with myself. Uh, so if, okay, yeah, whatever touched it, yep, I have a humanoid. And touch is equal to false, which it is false. Then we're going to change touch to true. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know what I did. We're not going to add this because we don't want, we don't want touch. Because, okay, we want this code to happen only once. We don't want it to keep happening whenever we touch it. We only want it to happen once, you know, unless we die. So what we're doing here is we're setting touch to true, but we want it to stay at true because right here it checks if it's false. If you get what I'm saying, it checks if it's false. We don't want it to set it to false because if we set it to false all the way at the bottom of the code, it's going to run all over again because it will be false. So it's going to run everything in this if statement. So we want to keep it at true so it does not equal to false. I think that time I explained it pretty good. I hope so. So this time, it better walk. It better walk. It better walk. Bang, 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 bang. Mm -mm -mm. So, if, yeah, that works perfect. But another thing what I want to do is, uh, I didn't say this in my other tutorial, but I would recommend, because, uh, the normal, the default Roblox arms and default legs, I believe, are can collide false. Like, can collide false so you know they can go through anything. I know the arms are for sure. Let's see. The left arm. Yeah, it's false. The left leg is false. But <clears throat> I don't know how they coded it to make it not be able to go through the ground. I don't understand that. Because if it's false, you know, you think it would be able to, your legs would be falling through the ground. I don't understand that but what we should do is just do the arms and the legs so uh, the, the and just take all this not the torso though and just put it <coughs> false and let's see what happens I mean it's, it's gonna be better because our arms are gonna be able to go through like walls and stuff I think it would be better <coughs> Yeah, it's, it it would work a lot better. <clears throat> <coughs> Plus, you also you still have the original uh, arms and legs, uh, the original legs to hold you up, you know. Uh, but it's just invisible. But anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please support my channel and spread my channel with your friends, uh, especially the ones that want to learn how to script because. I feel like I know how to explain things pretty good and unlike other uh, other people that make tutorials uh, that's just how I feel because I know whenever I started to learn scripting I wanted to learn scripting people would not un explain what script was like whenever you're writing like script up parent I didn't understand what script or parent was or like what game was like for example if you're doing game dot workspace I don't understand what game was, but game is like, you know how they have workspace, and then they have the children inside of workspace. All these children's parent is workspace, if you know what I'm saying. But where's game? Well, game is pretty much, game holds every single thing like that you're seeing right here. Game holds all this. Yeah. And then workspace is here, so it's like game dot workspace dot camera dot remote function you know you know you get what I'm saying yeah 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 so anyways thanks for watching